Do you think that uh, a character like Ferris Bueller is real or is it just a fantasy kind of character? Uh, well, I have to, uh, you know, I had to treat him as real in, in playing him. Uh, he's certainly a, a real character, but the things he, he does, uh, things I do in the film, they, they, they sort of start to border on fantasy, you know. It, it, it kind of takes off the, the part, but, it, but he's, it's a real guy. Uh -huh. Do you know anybody? Like Ferris Bueller? Um, no, I don't. No, no, not not any. I mean, I know people a little like him, but nobody who d goes as far as he does. I mean, he really, uh, he really is pretty outrageous. Would you like to be like him? Would you like to have a life like that? Oh no, I don't think I would. Too many risks. <laughs> too tiring. <Yeah. laughs> he runs around too much. Matthew, you have had the opportunity with working with some of the best writers in America. You know, Simon, uh, Horton Foote. And is this luck, or or is it is it chance, or have you been able to pick these characters? I didn't pick them. No, uh, I. I uh, Horton Foote. I, I've known since I was a little kid. He's a good friend of the family, and uh, he just he wanted me to be in his play when I was seventeen. So it was just great, you know. I, I was not in a position to pick him, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and Neil Simon, I just auditioned like everybody else for uh, Brighton Beach Memoirs, and. I, you know, got the part, and we we work pretty well together. So I've done a few other things for him, uh -huh. and I'm just I'm just incredibly lucky of the people who who hired me. Well, let's face it, there there's luck, and then there's also the skill.